Okay, folks, how are we doing? A lot of working going on out the front of the house. Uh, we had a sinkhole um, a few days ago. Gas lorry parked out here and um, it was really tall, went through about two foot. So, uh, not the first time I've had a sinkhole there. Uh, AW have come and um, uh, filled it in, hopefully. Shame, I wanted to look in there when, uh, when they had the top off, but uh, we missed the boat for that, so. Never mind. Anyway, we're going hay mowing in the old Fazza, as you can see. Um, the normal mowing tractor is on the, uh, what's it on? It's on the sprayer. So I said, no, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the mowing, I'll stick on the fast track and so they don't take the sprayer on often, it's so. We're going mowing, boys! Oh, as you can see, it's a glorious day for it. And indeed, the forecast is, um, uh, well, it's 25 today, I think it's supposed to be. I mean, it's blooming hot. Um, and then tomorrow and Sunday, uh, sort of 28, 29 degrees, so absolutely cooking, sun all day. Uh, Monday is a bit cooler, about 24 again, but uh, yeah, it's hot and sunny and good for, I think, at least five days, so, yeah, go and do a bit of hay we do for someone, uh, knock that down. Of course, our fast track can out, stretch its legs. Lower it down. And lift her up a little bit. Put the, put the P-tail into a thousand speed. You can either do clamber through that way or it's easy to go through this other door. It's not exactly the most uh, user-friendly system. But that's your, that's your PTO changeover, just for there. Um, oh no, I am on a thousand, am I? Because I was running up. Back tank. So yeah, I forgot that. I just thought I was in four forty, but I'm not. I'm in a thousand. So I need to go out. Well, I'll start the old go up and see what happens. Itself is a it's a Lely Splendimo. Of course, Lely are no more, uh, but it's a Lely Splendimo. It's a 320, so 3.2 meter. Got a conditioner in there. Um, it's got the the plastic conditioning tines on it, uh, which just helps it wilt a bit, bruises the grass as it goes through the mower, and um, just aids the wilting process, so it dries out a bit quicker. Um, of course, Lely, um, apart, well, they're not part, they were bought out by the Agco group, so you can still get Lely stuff, but it's it's Fent coloured or I think it's just Fent and Massey um, that are doing the range of old Lely stuff. I mean, they, they didn't keep the you know, they didn't keep the the Lely brand or anything like that. So you can no longer get a Lely, but they were very popular around here. Um, mainly because we had the main, uh, just up the road is the main uh, sort of Lely parts storage for the country. So um, if you ever had a park go down, chances are they had it in stock and um, 
you were going again in well, you could get the part normally in half an hour so it was very handy hence why there was a lot of laily stuff around here plus it's good stuff like you know
Yeah, get them wheels sorted. Should look tidy then. No leaky leaky, all looks dry and clear. Well, I've still got this to do as well. Still got that anti-roll bar bushes to do. So they're the plastic tines I was on, a flexible lot. There we go. Plenty of grass here. Gotta let that wilt next few days. And um, yeah, get it turned into grass. Grass. It's grass, George. <laughs> It turned into hay even look. Oh, let's head back to the yard. And drop this off and then um, carry on with wedding stuff. But uh, I've still got to, <laughs> I believe it or not, I've still got to finish my speech. Um, we've been doing it for 
gears, or they have been doing the gears on the farm like this. So, um, like I said, a lot of folks will go through it sometimes twice a day. They'll go and move it out like that. And all that ends up doing is you just end up smashing it to bits. And, um, you know, it ends up being well, pretty much worthless as um, animal feed. Um, the, the least amount of times you can go through it, the better condition it will be. Alright, that's the ups and downs done. we just got to do, do the headings. When you're doing anything like this, you know, turning hay or um, yeah, I don't think anything else will stop here. So turning hay, you need to do your headlands last because if you do it first, obviously then you're going to run all over and squish it all back down again. So do your ups and downs first and then go back and uh, just do your headlands. So will be a good um, Know that we, uh, you know, that's been at the bottom. You know, well, you've got a bit there. Moving that, it feels it. It's not. Ain't got a lot of life in it. Simple old school technology, but works, doesn't it? <laughs> not so. They've been they've been using these for years, years and years. No. Hold the tines up. There are two positions for them. Um, yeah, see on that one a bit better. Basically, you pull the. We've got a spring there. Get tension on it. You can pull that out and then put it. It'll go into that slot. Um, which is, just, to be fair, is the spot you should have it in for flicking it out, but um, let's say we never bother. And uh, it just racks it up in a nice lifted row, stirs it up, lifts the grass at the bottom up, and um, I'd say that's about ready to bail. That's what I say, I think we'll be in here tomorrow. Um, I mean, it's been cracking weather for haymaking. making. Uh, Past couple of days, about 30 degrees, about 29 today. Bit of a breeze, saying there's not a bit more of a breeze, but there's enough of a breeze as you can see. But, uh, there we go, right? Anyway, I'm going to go and get some dinner and uh, roll on the baler. It's the day after I fluffed it up. It's been um, rode up, well, I moved again this morning and sort of rode up properly now with the gates on the back. So it was a nice little rose. She's going to crack on fairly well nailing this, bit of luck. Obviously the drawer, uh, dry the material that you bail in the quicker it goes up the bail a lot, you know, because it's uh, there's less there's less drag on it, less friction.
looks right, doesn't it? Nice bit of hay. Smells alright. Smashing. Let's get this bugger bowed up. Well, it's not looking very good. I've got about an hour, an hour and a half left. Well, you can see on the camera. Um, it looks well dodged over there. I mean, really dodgy. Uh, I'll share the rain alarm in a sec. And I've got, just keep getting the odd splot of uh, rain on. Literally just the odd drop. So, uh -huh. Yeah, so, you see where we are. It's real close, it looks real neat. So, uh, hopefully, it'll stay away, otherwise, <laughs> oh, a bit of A will get wet. And, uh, there's about half a dozen spots on the, um, on the mud guards at the minute, and they are big spodges. So you can see on the, off on the near side the mud guard there. So, yes. Really we'll have to flick this out again. Oh, that's a relief. Um, they've stormed earlier, they've gone past, but there's another one uh, coming from the north that is literally virtually here. And uh, <laughs> at one point I was wondering whether I was going to get it done or not, but we are there. Another job done. Knock her off. Yeah, let's have a quick look at rain alarm. Yeah, it's that one there, you see. I suppose it's still 20 minutes away, half an hour away. But uh, yeah, lucky, we, um, we seem to dodge that. Well, we've got bows out, but um, they are, because um, they're round bales, they can stand a bit of rain. They can, they can. So that's them all bailed, uh, look, look at the count, I think it's about 140, something like that, so not too bad. Next job be cart them. Cart them and get them stacked up. But uh, like I said, they might get a bit of a, uh, a bit of a shower, but um, they'll wear that. They're not like square bales work. Well, even a square bale will take a bit of rain on it, uh, as long as it's not lots, but round bales, obviously they're more conducive to letting the rain run off them a bit, so they'll be alright, they'll be alright. Anyway, I'll tell you something, it's a bit cooler now as well, nice breeze picked up. It has been stiflingly hot, really hot. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little vid and I will see you on the next one. Ta-ta!